Mr. Mac. No matter what, I'm gonna go up. Where's Alex? If like Loki, you tried looking at that like it was an investment. Like, oh, I'm just I gonna, have, I'm just I have looked at it as an investment. <laughs> I literally <laughs> have. I thought about it. and I'm like, if I get because my homeboy Drew, yeah. he knows um, basketball very well. Yeah. And, like, I know UFC very well. He knows basketball. So when it comes down to basketball parlays, he's already won. He's only done three because he just started betting two right after me. He's done three parlays. He's won two of them. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I've done two parlays. I've won both of mine. So as long as we keep copying each other's parlays, I assume we're going to win over 50% of the time as long as we're really fucking studying our shit. I think you got to be, like, card counter level. You do got to be crazy, you gotta crazy good. You got to be card good. counter blackjack table Because level. no matter what, it's random. It's based at random. And even then, sometimes it's random, but sometimes there's a little extra and some in the there sauce. There is. That's another thing I think about, too, because I'm like, I never know if fights are actually staged. I don't know what fights are real, what fights are not. Yeah, I don't believe I'd any. like to think the UFC is all real. I'd yeah. love to think. Because it just seems too random to script. Like, when it comes down to jujitsu, like, martial arts, boxing, all of them combined in one to where you're kicking, punching, and grappling. I'm so like, many variables. how can you stage that? Yeah, yeah. How can you stage... I, I just... I can't see you being... Unless they're the best actors in the fucking world. Yeah. Either that or every single UFC fighter deserves a fucking Oscar. No, Because that I'm shit is... Yeah, I think that's, like, the last right? real sport. Because that's yeah. cage fighting at the end of yeah. the day. It's now beautiful, right? Now exactly. it's UFC. Now it's branded. And the main thing... just be fucking burly dudes in a fucking, exactly. like, world talent. And, like, Fuck it. there are certain sports like wrestling. Like, the main ones where you know where stage were, like, by the end of every single fight that's ever happened in wrestling history, mm. nobody is gushing fucking blood. It doesn't happen. WWE? B- yeah. Yeah, they do. Do they? They got plenty of them, bro. You fuck, get, are they gushing they, blood? They selling the fuck out of that. I, I ain't going to I've it. never they actually watched much themselves. WWE. I've just heard yeah. that it's staged, and I never saw any blood in the videos. You got to put a little bit of respect for it. Like, maybe you're sitting there looking at it. No, I really UFC. don't know if UFC's real. If that shit got blood. No, but, like, UFC's real because somebody like Brock Lesnar, who can, like, completely that destroy... Is true. The that WWE, right, can't just, like, he comes in, he gets a couple of, like, lucky hits, bounces and here and there. And then gets fucked up. Yeah. But, yeah, at the end of the day. That's true. That is very true. And also realize, There's like, crazy fighters who will come in, but then when it comes down to combining all of them, they will get their shit fucked up. Yeah, and a man's integrity, though, too. A and man's, a man's hard. integrity, Like, yeah. it's, it's hard. Like, it's a, a poor quarterback, right? Maybe you just don't like being hit. Maybe you're just like, fucking, I walked into this position. You're like, I can do a couple of things here and there where my effort's not 100. That's facts. You're going to tell me that a guy who's been training for six months for this fight, this moment, you're going to say, <laughs> like, like that's the story of Raging Bull. Uh, I don't know if you know that movie, Robert De Niro and Martin Scorsese. I don't I think, think I have one watched of their it. First movies I think I've together. heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it before. I was the same exact way, bro. I went back and watched it. The shit was actually a pretty gripping, because, like, you kind of forget that you're watching, like, a biop. Like, you're watching, like, a you know, Muhammad Ali movie. Okay, yeah. You forget that you're watching that. Yeah. You just feel like you're watching cinema, especially with some of the decisions that, like, uh, Scorsese makes. But the whole story of that is that uh, the mob wanted him to take a fall, and he was just so, like, prideful that, like, he took the fall, but he made it as obvious as a bitch. He sat there in the that's middle of the crazy. room, just taking punch after punch after punch, fell down, just kind of like... See, that's what's crazy about some of these fighters, too. Like, I just watched the Muhammad Ali documentary that they have on Hulu. It's, like, a fucking eight-episode series or whatever. Mm. I did not realize that Muhammad Ali had, at some point, like, fallen off before he climbed back on top. Like, Muhammad Ali was completely on top, and then he finally lost again. He even talked about how he was going to lose soon. He said it. He was like, I'm I'm getting old. I'm probably going to lose soon. He even stopped fighting for a minute and just started focusing on the human rights shit and the black rights movement, Mm -hmm. and then jumped back to fighting afterward. Motherfucker lost, came back, still came out as one of the top goats in the fucking world, and he even fell off this pedestal for a minute. They put him in jail, too, didn't they? Um, was he in jail I for can't time vouch for that, but I did hear about something with them trying to arrest him for something. I'm not sure. It might have been the think. Black Panthers movie. It might have been something okay. with his music. Um, but there was something involved where I think they were trying to prosecute him for something. Because I know he was well involved with Malcolm X and all that shit. He was good friends with all of them. He was a part of the movement. He was yeah. just well more well known for his music. No. But there's a good chance for that. Do you think there is legitimate... Oh, this is a hard right turn. Let me give you, I'm like, curious. Let me, let me give curious. you like a little alley you before I just throw you in. That <laughs> no, would be... Uh, do you think there's any, like, legitimate activist movements going on today that could... Legitimate ones. Yeah, I That's mean, there's, there's ones that exist, but there's <laughs> ones that we can find, like... There's a lot that exist, but 
an actual movement is very hard to describe nowadays because right. of social media, there's so many false movements, I feel like, out to where people want to say that there, there's a million uh, social media influencers that claim that they're activists, but in reality, they're, they're just posting shit on Instagram. They're looking up facts that they found on Google and shit. So finding something that is a real, real movement, an actual movement like the Black Panther shit back in the day, I'm not that well educated, so I don't know a lot of the different huge movements that have happened, but I know certain ones that were real. Mm. And so far, I haven't seen anything within the past 10 years that has been a real, real, actual, genuine movement. I really haven't. Mm. Even when it came down to the Black Lives Matter, which I would love to rep, every single person who was running the motherfucker, who was supposed to be holding it down and making, they, they fucked it over. They ended up turning shady. They used the money for stupid shit, and they ended up making that whole movement just... Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Black Lives Matter as a whole, that saying is still dope. The whole movement is still dope, but the franchise that yeah. was supposed to be the main contributors to it, they fucked the name of it up a little bit. In a lot <laughs> of ways, that's, like, synonymous or as equal yeah, exactly, to yeah. um, make America great Yeah, again. exactly. Like, you weren't supposed to be using the money to try to buy mansions and shit. You were supposed to be using the money for causes, for foundations, for different shit yeah. that needed it. Black Lives Matter. It wasn't supposed to be a money one, heist. I want to invest yeah. in it. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. supposed to be like, damn, like, we're the ones who started this shit. We're about to get a bag from it. Like, don't get me wrong. Put yourself on. But when it comes down to spending millions on shit that was meant to be for donations, it's like... Yeah. It gets hard to describe what's going to be a movement and what's not with the way the social media has went. Just because I feel like everybody has gotten so greedy with just wanting the gains out of it that it's most of this shit nowadays, even political content is mostly a joke. Joe Biden and Donald Trump are both memes. Like it's and never in our never weird. in our history of presidential elections or any of yeah. this shit have two presidents been such a social media and meme thing to where it's like, it's hard to even take it's the two seriously. It's only so seriously. many cycles in, though, too. Yeah. That's crazy. It's like Obama it kind of was like the ideal president, but he was the first one dealing with He was, with yeah. That. He was the ideal president. He was the first one getting involved with the mean shit. And then yeah, after yeah, that Trump nigga was right done, after he disappeared. He Twitter Obama dude, said, I'm gone. Yeah. He went to go fucking skiing and fucking snowmobile. He didn't and, give and a make shit. And making uh, Leave the World Behind, bro. He just made that on Netflix. He was like, hey, motherfuckers, just in case you didn't know what could happen. In case, in case. Right. That's what I have. A, I have a funny. Uh, I have a funny conspiracy hypothesis, whatever you want to call it, theory on meme culture. Because I feel like that's ultimately where we're all it is, headed. It is. Right? Everything. Is even meme musical like, artists. Even musical artists who were not at all destined to make content. They just wanted to make music. They just wanted to fucking rap on beats, body it, hopefully get big off it, promote it by doing shows and shit. But nowadays, it's not the only way to get big, but damn near the surest way to get big is content. Yeah. You end up hitting that algorithm, right? Nigga, you don't even got to be that good and you're going to blow up. There is some garbage-ass artists who are making millions right now. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> and it is, like, the same idea of, like, virality maybe in some ways is that meme factor where it's kind of being able to, like, picture yourself into whatever, like, it exactly. is. Exactly. But my little goofy theory is that hieroglyphs are memes. Like classical memes. Like, hieroglyphs are just none. Like, doesn't even have to be classical. Just think of them as uh, ancient memes. Like, back in their day, it was like, uh, this means blah, blah. And they so didn't even like, take it that as they were just like, yo. So it was I'm just like pictures. It was like, fuck words. We just like picture books. Shit. So we're just going to do every little thing as a picture. Were you saying everything. it like as if they knew words, but they just chose to do yeah, pictures? Yeah, why would you do that? You're and such, they just you're wanted to make, they just so wanted to make it more arty, more... Okay. More efficient. Think more about efficient. that. More efficient. What if even crazier? Let's say they had VR and AR goggles back then. What if they just looked at one of that and it just popped up a whole thing in their VR? That's smart, honestly. And low-key pictures make more sense because not everybody can understand every language written down, but a picture most languages can figure out regardless. If you write a person doing something, whether you're Spanish, American, Cuban, whatever the fuck it is, yeah. you can usually depict what it is through a picture of somebody doing it, but throughout words with different languages, not as many people are going to be able to get that. Because it's not like cuneiform and like all these other things didn't exist back then, right, apparently? So it's yeah. like hieroglyphs, in my opinion, were just memes. Everybody kind of had an understanding. The AR, VR, goggle shit, that's that shit great. That's whatever. That would be fuck. That's a that's a sci-fi movie. It goes a little beyond me from that. Yeah, that's a sci-fi movie. Like they created new shit. shit. But at the same time, it's crazy. Uh, if I told you 
that ancient Egyptians had portable batteries. Would you believe me? Hell no. Hell no? Actually, no, 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 no. They built the pyramids, didn't they? Ancient Egyptians? Some, some ancient, ancient person who lived okay. in the land of Egypt. This is how I'm going to agree really? on this. If my facts are correct and the ancient Egyptians did build the pyramids, which I think they did, right? Um, then I agree with that. I think they could have done that because I think they were fucking far beyond what anybody else was ever doing. But if they didn't build the pyramids, then I don't agree with it because I don't think they were far enough beyond to make a fucking battery yet. But if they built the pyramids, I think they could have done that because ain't nobody know how that shit was done still. I think we could do it now, obviously, because mm. we built fucking crazier pyramids in Las Vegas alone, but... If this was Joe Rogan or something, I'd say, like, Jamie, can you pull up... Uh, but <laughs> it's apparently Jamie, called... pull up a video. Right. I want to see this shit. <laughs> apparently, it's called a Baghdad battery. If you look it up, Google it... And it and was it, made out of Baghdad. It. It was in the area bag that we know is Baghdad. Bag I believe is battery. where it was found. It's but like, expensive. It's the same idea. It's actually like I think from their estimates that it's like a, a homemade one too. So it's not even like imagine if like they did have the ability to make batteries. Yeah. You would think it would be more efficient than okay, how yeah. this one was. Than made. how it actually is. Yeah. It's a low rank. Unless day. like this is the dude. With the <laughs> yeah. battery, you know. <laughs> He died, he wasn't able okay. to look like it. But yeah, I forget when they found it. I forget how far they dated it, fossilized or whatever. But a battery. Yeah. And it was before they had actually discovered electricity. For us, yeah. Yeah, for us at least. Yeah. For the masses. Yeah. That's crazy. But even then, when you think of like electricity, that's one of those ones where it's like, electricity just always been out here, though. Was it Thomas Edison who did the light? Apparently, was it apparently? But I remember reading some shit to where it wasn't actually him who made the first light. He was actually like the third person who made the first light. I believe, but I could be wrong on that. Third person's even. Oh no 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 no! I'm thinking of Tom Ford, the first car. I thought that Tom Ford was the first car maker, and then I looked it up online, and I saw that it was actually Benz, Mercedes Benz. They were the first. I can't remember. I can't remember what the fool's name was. It was Carl Benz or some shit. But Mercedes-Benz had actually came out with the first car. Huh. And then Ford came out with just the one that blew up more afterward. That's why they're more known for it. Yeah, Their first the car States, was bigger. Yeah. But apparently Mercedes-Benz was actually the first whip. That's which wild. astonished me, because I was like, damn, they foreign, so yeah. they more expensive here, so they doing good. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, yeah. What am I doing here? What's that? Are they? Oh, we think of food. I'm gonna do that. Hey, we got some chicken nuggets here. <laughs> we got some chicken nuggets Home right now. Made chicken nuggets. <laughs> what if my sauce is still left? I made this honey soy uh, garlic. Honey soy garlic. Yeah, and I made nuggets? it like a glaze. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that Home sounds made. fire. But like, I put like starch in it to make it glazy because like the shit was too liquidy before. That's smart, actually. Oh, my girl put me on to that one, but like... Yo, I swear, until I got a girlfriend, that beautiful lady who just made me do that, um, I barely even cooked. I was a cook at a restaurant, but I got so sick of cooking at the restaurant that at home I didn't cook shit. I just made chicken tenders, chicken and rice, easy shit. Since I got with her, holy fuck, the amount of meals I have made, I feel like I'm a professional chef now. I swear. I know how to make everything. Stuffed peppers, fucking chicken alfredo. Um, what did we do the other night? It was this fucking Italian glazed salmon that we did. Oh my God, it was so good. You use the Olive Garden Italian dressing, right? You mix that with like your cayenne pepper and all that shit. You mix it with all your seasonings that you want the most with the Italian Olive Garden seasoning that you buy from the store. You glaze your fucking salmon in that shit and then cook it in the oven on that. I don't know what it does with the flavor, but the way that bitch soaks in <sighs> is so fucking good. Yeah. I did that like two, three days ago. It was so All good. Right. Okay, I had that some recipe I found on YouTube or some shit. It was good, Shout though. out to the internet, though. Shout, Shout out, out to, to the Chinese Gambino because of the internet. Hell yeah. YouTube saves me. Yeah. I have no idea how to put a fucking deck into a car with YouTube. I did that shit in like 20 minutes. It was so fast. That needs to be like a it's commercial. A it needs to be with YouTube. Anything with YouTube, is anything. You can change your oil. Drive a spaceship, record a song. You can do all three of them at the same time. While all live three streaming. of them at the same time. Wow, fucking your mistress. YouTube. And just some bold letters YouTube. going across. YouTube. Yeah. 
One needs letter to be like, there has to be like out. a cat meow or something like that just because of those. I want to take, I want to take control of their designing team because they don't be changing shit enough. YouTube be the same oh, for like years straight, and then they'll finally change the logo once or twice. I think I could do more with YouTube. I could make it better. I think YouTube is like the most perfect app though of all time. It's better than all the social medias, that's for sure. I, th I think it's perfect too because if you even remember back in the old day with the old iPhone. YouTube was just a little TV. It was that just was a little a hard TV app, bro. That was the dopest. That was a hard I wish kid. they would have never have changed from that logo, honestly. That little TV was so fucking cold. Right. You that, can't upgrade from that. That shit was too clean. Yeah. And then they just turned it into, like, what it is now, just the white and the red or whatever. Maybe it's, it's a wire it's on cool. there It's cool. You got, like, a reels and shit on there now. But that it's was so cool. ill. It's that made different. it feel like a it's fucking like every like other app. Pokemon video game or something It did, like that. it did. Like, I'm going on YouTube. <laughs> Do you remember when Google, when you used to load it up on your computer and every now and then, like, on just the Google loading page, they would have, like, a game that you can play. Like, they would have, like, the snake game and shit. Yeah. Where you, like, connect the snake and make them longer and longer. But, like, on the YouTube, on the, on the Google page where you search it up, yeah. they would have a game there as the background where, like, if you didn't feel like searching up your thing right then and looking it up, you could play this game that Google just uh, had uh, on their load up shit. Vaguely, I, I don't know how many people remember that, but it was the dopest part of my childhood when I would load up fucking Google just to go on YouTube and play some fucking rolling papers by Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. And I would see the fucking snake game just ready for me to go. And I'm like, all right, hold I'm, up real quick. Hold through. up real quick. I got another mission on my hand. Right. And I would literally play snake for like 30 minutes before I even actually went to YouTube. Type shit. I haven't seen it in years. I forgot about it until now. But it was a thing, guaranteed. There's yeah. other people who know about that shit. It was dope as fuck. There was games on Google when you would load it up. I don't know if it's still a thing in my MacBook. Just ain't up to date on it. But uh, that shit was cold. I know. Uh, I think the illest one is the one when your internet connection isn't good. And like that little like dinosaur or whatever pops up. And you oh, that shit was cold. They still got it, though. As soon as you hit the do space bar or the up no thing, way. it turns into a video game. My shit don't do that. See? Are you sure? I, I don't think it does. Oh, man. Shit. Unless my, I my computer... I wonder Google versus Safari. I wonder if they both... Also, low-key, I haven't updated my Mac in, like, five years. Okay. I ain't going front. Because last time I updated it, it said it was going to, like, my Pro Tools wasn't compatible with it. So it said, like, it could potentially make my Pro Tools not yeah. work. <laughs> so I was like... I don't want to update my shit if my Pro Tools ain't going to work, so I just have literally have not updated my computer in, like, five years. That's a problem. Yeah. I need Eventually. to. I feel like five, once you get to, like, seven, I think that's when. Yeah, I'm that's when I'm like, okay, I think it's time. Out on me. I want to say my. Was it after seven? Uh, it was oh, a 2013. Damn, I'm getting close. MacBook Pro is a 2013. I probably got it in 2015, though. A little cheaper, right? Save a deal. Yeah, it's a little uh, cheaper. And <laughs> then probably crapped out on me right around COVID, right after COVID. Like damn. 2019, 2020. So that's damn near seven years, five years. Fuck. I got to clean out my safe computer. Though. I got to keep her safe. safe. Me, though. I got to keep her safe. Yeah, I like didn't give a fuck. I was doing videos. I was doing music. I was doing everything. On yeah, in general, that's one thing I didn't realize when I started making music. It's really hard to keep all those files organized. It's a lot. Yeah. And I also didn't realize in my Pro Tools, Whenever I would do, because you know how some artists, they'll do their whole song in one take. But then there's some artists where they'll do 30 takes for one bar. Yeah. It'll be 30 takes for one bar. At the beginning of my rap career, I was like 30, 100 takes for one bar, just to get one bar. But I didn't realize when you just highlight the fucking take that you did and delete it, compared to when you control alt delete it, when I would highlight it and delete it, it didn't delete the file. Oh. Every time that I would highlight and delete my shit, it would only delete it off of that Pro Tools session, but it would keep the file ultimately. Yeah, and, and it would still be taking up that memory yeah, yeah. unless I did control alt delete I did not discover this shit on my computer until like a year and a half, two years after making music. So I literally had thousands Damn. and thousands and thousands <laughs> of bullshit terrible fucking takes that were saved on my computer. Oh, I was wondering, man. I was like, why is my memory completely fucking taken up and gone? And then I was looking at it, and I started clicking all these files, and, like, why and it was literally, so big? some of them were just me just drunk talking over the mic, and I was like, oh, why is man. this saved on here? Yeah. Like, I thought I deleted this, but I didn't realize it's because I didn't do it that way. It was keeping the file every time. 
My shit's still a little fucked to this day. I still need to delete a lot of shit off there. There's some gold that I found, don't get me wrong. I found some mm. gold. That's funny. I like, I started doing that just kind of like, just out of convenience doing the control. Yeah, like, I felt exactly. Like, I, like that take. I started yeah. doing that, but now thinking about it, it's like, damn, how many and sessions? I don't know do if I it's like that, that for this? everybody's shit or if it's just the way my too. settings are. No, nah, it yeah, does it. Nah. It only does it if I actually control all delete it, then I'll notice well. it gets rid of the actual take. But when I actually just highlight and delete, yeah. It keeps the take there, and then it'll just keep building up on top of it. And I'm like, oh shit! Pro gamer, I built up thousands of takes throughout the last two years without realizing it. I want one third of those. <laughs> yeah, literally, some of them might be gold. A yeah. lot of trash. There's some gold in there though. That's the thing though. I love uh, like when you hear the creative style, like the Young Thugs or whoever, that they have like a bunch of different takes and then exactly. they splice them. Because I feel like there is that kind of weird machismo where people are like, oh, one take Drake. Or, oh, I oh there is. One. There where is. It's like, yeah, sure, that's dope. Yeah. But, like, if you listen to Kendrick's music, he's not doing one takes. Oh, hell no, he's not doing one takes. No. And it's not and because, like, he can't. It's, like, yeah. stylistically, it's better. Yeah, than that's music. how it is, too. It is stylistically. It's, like, there's certain songs where there's only one take required. Mm. Like, there's certain songs where you only need the one take, and then there's other songs where, like, the emphasis on your words that like there's a specific way that you're trying to say it to get the message across that like you just can't do it in one take like you have to take that deep breath and fucking say it dramatically this part and then you need to soothe it down on like it's you can't do every song in one take because i definitely noticed that there's certain songs where i feel like it was meant to be one take where i'll do the whole entire thing and i play it back afterward and i'm like damn that's fucking beautiful mm. and then there's other songs where i'll try to do it in one take It'll be absolute fucking trash. And then I'll do it in separate takes, little small ones, and then I'll edit them the way I want it, and I'll love the song. I'll love it. Yeah. It's just about having, like, as a builder, right? Just having it a is, bunch of yeah. different tools. It's like, I can do this, I can do this. And if this, you write a couple better. different ways, it's most likely going to happen. Like, if you're not always just spitting just straight bar for bar, you're mm -hmm. usually going to have to switch up the style that you record eventually. Yeah. Where do you start off with music? Uh, did you start off, like, writing, like, poetry type deal? Did you, were you straight into um, the recording? I start off writing, well, I started off, like, 12, 11 years old just writing raps. I wasn't mm. recording them or anything. I didn't have any plan for them. I didn't write to beats. I just wrote raps, like, in my notes, just in dead silence in my room and shit. Mm. And at school, whenever I wanted to, I would just write raps. Yeah. And then my homie, Johnny, old homie, um, Johnny got into music and then we ended up recording our first song he was 16 years old i was 14 years old and then we recorded our first song it was a schoolboy q remix mm. bet i got some weed bet i got your bitch but it was a schoolboy q remix and we remixed that beat and that was the first rap that my homie but i was on it released on any platform for somebody to hear it and then for the last like four years after that i would just write on and off i didn't release anything i just would write music because i liked it and then when I was 18 years old, after I had gotten out of this youth camp, after getting in trouble, China Spring Youth Camp. Man, um, what building you trust that on fire, bro? <laughs> nah, I was just doing drugs. It was terrible. <laughs> like, I was the building. Very <laughs> sloppily doing drugs. And my whip got caught. Damn, China I'm Spring too. Youth Camp got me. Turned me into the man I am today. Shut up. Yeah, whatever they did. But <laughs> I got out of China Spring Youth Camp. And I was showing my brother and my homeboy, my manager now, Andrew, some of my raps. And my brother was pretty much just like, yo, like, you have to show our dad this. Like, this is crazy. You're more talented than you realize. He showed his homie who also made music about an hour away from us. He made music for like five years already before I even ever thought of it. And then we showed him the music and he was like, yeah, you're, you're fucking crazy. Like, you need to show your pops this. Yeah. And then I showed my pops my music and then he blessed me like, not like a lot of fathers can, but he pretty much told me, he was like, all right, so you, your choices are either this, like, you either are going to go to college, you're going to try to figure out something that you want to do, you have to find something you actually like and care about, and I will help you pay for that. Or if you really, really care about music, you really actually want to take it seriously, you're not just writing for fun, you actually want to do the shit, I'll help you get a startup studio. And I was like, well, nigga, I, I barely graduated. Like, I, I was in jail a week before my graduation. I had, like, two lessons. I barely fucking made it. I was late. Um, so I chose music because uh, I wasn't good at school, but I was good at that. Mm. And my dad gave me pretty much a grand to get my whole entire startup studio. He paid for my Pro Tools. He paid for my first monitors. He paid for my laptop that I'm still using to this day because I cannot upgrade to a desktop yet. But... 
he paid for my whole first studio because he heard my 